What up, boys and girls? It's the Ill-Advised Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Chris, along with my co-host... The Gabe. And my other co-host... I'm Jared. We're going to answer some people's questions. We may even give you our opinions on a few things. And if you're lucky tomorrow, you're going to wake up forgetting every damn bit of it. Stay tuned. This is the Ill-Advised. Our first topic of the night comes from uh, one of our viewers. It is from Felicia Garza. Felicia, thank you for the subject. Today we're going to talk about how we met. Chris, how did we meet? <sighs> Gabe doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, it started on a website. <laughs> I thought it was in high school. It was actually in high school. Oh, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks a lot. So, I met Gabe. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Well, you see, I met... It's funny. It's funny how we met. Well, yeah. <sighs> Your hands are nice and toasty. Yeah, they are. No, for real, though. So, I met Gabe one day. Um, the first time I actually ever met Gabe, I, I think I drove up to high school parked behind this car and um this dude with weird looking spiky hair and just just real wheel 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 weird <laughs> it was really weird <laughs> really weird spiky hair and they you were that guy that wore like the big pants that the end of the pants were the same size as your waist yeah the jinkos the jinkos that's oh, right yeah the yes. jinko pants so anyways uh, him his buddies and uh, would and and this girl that he was dating <laughs> <laughs> would get out of the car and they'd go they'd go into school make a long story <laughs> make a long story short like we, we ended up talking in high school and whatnot and and uh i ended up meeting you another long time from i don't know i met you like after we graduated yeah dude like it was back in the car club days. back in the car club days yeah because like i i'd like always like seen you yeah like in you in the sunfire and stuff and like i just like i kind of thanks for making around. that not weird <laughs> the sunfire yeah yeah, yeah like- so yeah i i did I, I met gabe i met gabe in school in high school and then after high school you rolled up next to my car or rolled up next to me in your car and you're like Hey, my name's Gabe. Remember me from high school. I think I'd like to hang out with you in your car club. And then you became a part of our car club. And, and then I saw you do this really cool trick. What we're, trick? You you did this really cool trick where you got drunk <laughs> <laughs> at a car show. Oh. And you laid down on the, you laid down on the concrete and your head sweat. <laughs> you had a pool of sweat underneath your head. <laughs> In a, in a big puddle of sweat, the circumference of your head was underneath your head on the concrete. But you effectively went to sleep. I think you passed out. Maybe you didn't pass out. I passed out. You, <laughs> I remember that day. It was like 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Damn. <laughs> but what was funny is, like, you fell asleep, but he was in the shade. You peaked too early. <laughs> but he was in the shade. <laughs> He was in the shade laying down. <laughs> and like underneath his head was just like, you know, you probably only had like maybe a half an inch of actual square surface of your head touching the concrete. <laughs> but there was just this pool of water, just pure, pure oh, dude, sweat. It was hot, dude. And it was not soaking up. It was just there. And the, it just, it was just, I don't know. Like I saw that and I was like, this is impressive. Man. It's like a chalk outline of a dead person, but it's all sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that Gabe's oh. sweating is a trick to you well it is a trick when it happens at 11 o'clock in the morning (laughs) in the shade while doing zero activity (laughs) it's pretty phenomenal i was like look he's exerting no effort right now in the shade in the morning and he has effectively sweat the outline of his body it was snowing outside (laughs) no i effectively was what (laughs) 
<laughs> so anyways, <clears throat> so we, we so anyways, make a long story short, he he joined the car club, and you just kind of just hung out. We ended up working together. We ended up. Oh man, we've done a lot together. We've done we've done we've done so much together. But at the end of the day, I just am rather impressed with your ability to drink a beer out of a mug in less than a second <laughs> and when impressive. i saw you do that i was like this guy's something sight. special dude i can that still, was a I trick can... that's a trick yeah oh but sweating while doing nothing in the shade in the morning's not <laughs> oh i think i know why. that's a disorder that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then i met jared um oh yeah hey no i forgot you're here too hey. hey hey what's up so i met jared one day the first time i ever met jared i think i ever laid eyes on the man whoa God, you make it sound sexy. Whoa. I remember like it was yesterday. I made the eyes on him like yesterday. I we, were, go. we were at Fairway Baptist Church. <laughs> oh. And he was in his Fowler Choir t shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you were just, I don't know, you were just sitting down. I don't know, it was like a, I think it was like Wednesday service, Sunday service. I don't know. Anyways, you had a Fowler t shirt. And it's the first time. And I remember your brother was like, hey, this is my little brother, Jared. That's how we met. <laughs> <laughs> But there would be many days where we'd follow by. So you live. remember me being the most gangster <laughs> mother on the planet. In, Wearing a in Fowler church, t-shirt. In church. Yeah. You were like, you know what? I'm not even singing, but I'm going to wear my shirt. Yeah. I wasn't in the choir. But we lived right down the... We lived like a block away from each other. Yeah. So... During the weekends, I would walk to his house and hang out with his brother. It's kind of jacked up. Like, I was, like, best friends with his brother. And, like, somewhere down the line, Matt quit paying, like, friendship rent. And he just couldn't. <laughs> friendship rent? Yeah. Friendship rent. He just couldn't pay. And I was like, this is not going to work out, dude. <laughs> you got to get out. Jared pays his payments on time. <laughs> so I started hanging out with this dude. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel kind of bad. Like, I met you through your brother, and like now me and your brother really talk. Jared, I'm mad if you're listening to this. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm a lot cooler. <laughs> I'm so much cooler. I think everybody knows that. You had a better imagination than Jared, than uh, Matt did. Wow. Especially. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you had much cooler toys than I did, so yeah. Dude, I love stuck hanging around. out with you, like, going to your house and, like, what was that game that we played? Oh, Wait a minute, yeah. hold on. Is that how we you met him or you just jump into the end? Gears of War? <laughs> oh, yes, dude. I love going to house. You going to talk about how you met? Well, no, I wasn't talking about how he we met. He doesn't remember. But I was, like, bringing up, like, fond <laughs> memories of, like, me and him hanging out. Like, okay. I would go to his house and, like, there was, like, we would sit, like, on the corner of his bed and, like, half a foot away, there's, like, this 57-inch tv like right in our face and it's like huge it's like blinding so like i look in front of me i don't know which side of the tv to look on but <laughs> any part yeah well, we're just playing this game and we're blowing stuff up on gears of war it's awesome you can like chainsaw through like aliens heads and shit it's bad never played it. i couldn't describe the game but i loved it so anyway okay here's my side here's the the side everybody wants to hear anyway so i met chris yeah that was the first time i think we we actually met i think the first time we really hung out uh was at some function i'm sure of my brothers but yeah we started hanging out through my brother and then for whatever reason life happened and people drift apart it's a sad sad song it's been sung so many times but it's part of life it's part of life people drift apart (sighs) It's usually accompanied by a Journey song and an 80s style montage. But anyway, (laughs) so we started hanging out and then um, I I think uh, you moved down the street or you stayed. I moved back down the street. Yeah, you moved back down the street to your old house. Started having all kinds of parties and stuff. Lots of parties. And I was like, hell yeah. Like, Car that's where I'm going to be. And this is kind of where... So, then, and sorry, he's telling the story. I got and, you. And that's where I met Gabe. Right. That's how I met I met you through one of the wild parties. Yeah. Crazy wild parties. I remember you coming over. You were Ridiculous. in like your BDUs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you and you were working at TYC. Yeah. 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 Right on. I remember uh, the next time we hung out, I can't remember where we were going, but... <clears throat> excuse me. We were going somewhere in your car. Um, and, and you stopped and got out, popped the trunk and pulled out, um, an Addy light from one of the <laughs> I think you're talking about me. Four cases. Yeah. yeah I'm talking about you. <laughs> I thought you were looking at Chris. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I just remember. I also, no, I also remember one of like the second time we ever hung out. Like I went to Walmart with you. <laughs> And we, you, I, I think we, it was all of us. Maybe it was. Because I, I remember this. Because Gabe just grabbed a cart, like casual as f- 
walked over to the beer and just like one case, two case, three case, four case, five case. And I was just like, God damn, are we about to go party? It was five suitcases and he kept them in his trunk. Yeah. <laughs> but this, we, was, this was like three o'clock on a Tuesday. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like we're doing something illegal. Like. <laughs> this does not feel right. But we ran into his uncle or a family member, and I remember this at Dammy Hill. They sell food here, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what? I remember that day. I, you do? I, I hope that. you do. I do. I'm surprised you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, moly. Yeah. But, I mean... um, <laughs> That's awesome. It, it was just craziest sight I've ever seen in my life, and we've had a, we've had a lot of good times, a lot of good yeah. times. Oh man, great, excellent. You know, one of the things that I think are badass about us is that we can break our balls, and, and it just it works so well. We don't really get pissed off at each other. Never. You know, we all can own to the quirks and to the things that we do stupid, and the things that you know we call each other out, and we're cool with it because we know it's true. We know I purposely act like a Mexican for Mexico when I see somebody from Mexico that looks like he's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, and, and, you know, we can rag on games, you know. Inability to function. <laughs> nope, I wasn't gonna say that. I was. I was too. <laughs> a lot of alcohol has been involved. A lot of disc golf too. That's one thing a lot that of we. Disc golf. Oh, oh that's yeah. Right. Back before that's we really right. had kids, responsibilities, oh, yeah. and, and and all that other good stuff, we played the hell out of disc golf. Smoke break bench. Smoke break bench. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. memories right yeah. there. Halfway through, halfway through our disc golf course here, where there's a little bench you can uh, take a break. We'd always. Carnival Mythos short soft sit packs down or and perfectos. smoke a cigarette and or the cigars and uh, yeah the perfectos. Talk about life. What Ponder. hole was it? Hole nine. It was hold, hold on six. I want to say it was six. On, no 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 hold on six was the long, the one. long one. Seven goes was, across the field or goes across that so bush. Eight and then no eight goes it was across seven the and ditch. Eight. eight goes across the ditch. So, so it was hole nine. nine. It was it hole was nine. Smoke oh, okay, right okay, nine. Okay okay yeah. yeah. That was our halfway point. And then I don't know where I think it was at the other bench down by the hill by Mount Scott is when we'd smoke the next Mount one. Mount right? Scott. That's Mount Murphy. I mean Mount Ooh. Murphy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I confused a not so big mountain with a small hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then so was that it was at that there was that little bench there, remember? Yeah. Um always got poop on it. Yeah, yeah. Bird poop. But it was the one that it ran parallel to the hill. <laughs> bird poop. Yeah, bird yeah, parallel poop. to the trail right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the last one always seemed to be the last hole where we crossed back over that ditch. At the end of the game, mm-hmm. at, at the end, at yeah. that was good stuff, man. That was good stuff. Oh yeah, I nobody but us knows what we're talking about. No, oh. nope. I remember uh, several, uh, probably weeks in a row. Every day I got off work, I'd meet one of you at the park, and we'd go throw around until dark, and like that was how we ended the day. That was good stuff, that man. Was good stuff. I, I still wish I could still go out there and like play a whole round. Like I went out there and tried to play like a couple, like a whole round of golf with my friend uh, Terrell. Uh, last year. Hold on, who's Terrell? When did you have another friend besides Jared and myself? Well, I, I worked with this. I, I worked with this guy here at Healthline Medical. I, I worked with him, and I, I was showing him the you know the game. But this was right after like my hernia surgery. Uh, so like me oh, yeah. trying to me trying to throw that disc and you know put some force into it and did walking it hurt? around. After a while, with with what happened, what had with what had happened. Like to my balls and stuff after the surgery, <laughs> like you, <laughs> like doing that and walking. So we don't know if that was something that Terrell did. No, that was from the her- that was from the hernia. Just I I, cu- I couldn't play like the whole. I could only play half the course because my back and my balls were hurt. My back, my, my balls. balls, every bit of it really mm-hmm. hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> See, what had happened if you played a journey? <clears throat> nope, I would have treated you right, Gabe. Well, speaking of balls and people's backs hurting, we're going to jump into another fun little topic from Lori Rickerson. What did Lori say? She was talking about the Super Bowl. Oh, it's that time of year. The Super Bowl. Now, this is my topic for sure. When will this air? Will this air? This will air, what, a week after the Super Bowl? Uh, Two weeks after the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, maybe so, a couple weeks after the So Super how about we do some predictions? Who do we think is going to win? Uh, Patriots, for sure. You think so? Yeah. You say that extremely too confident. Yeah. It almost leads me to believe everyone's thinking the same thing. I, I don't think so. I think everybody's rooting for the, the Rams. Rams. 
Yeah. And someone always does like a Madden prediction where Madden predicts the game, what's going to happen, the outcome. And Madden says that the Rams are going to win 30-27 this year, but I don't think Madden is right. I think... uh, Gabe, do you know who Madden is? John Madden? I thought it was Joe Madden, my man. Nope. (laughs) I knew it was starting with a J. I know he has... He has a long series of video games. Yeah, I was going to say, I have one of them. He has a long series of... I think it's like coaching ninety four credentials as How well. How much is he worth? Just sign me to segue. John Madden, I have no idea. Hey, Mr. Producer, can you figure out what the net worth for John Internet Madden that. is? Internet it. Two hundred million. Two hundred million. I overshot it. It's oh, still impressive. That is rather impressive. Still impressive. Um, at the peak. Uh in one year, he did five million. Good lord! <laughs> but here's the deal. Let me let me explain this Super Bowl. Okay, let go me for explain it. what this Super Bowl is. Go for it. To the nation, to the NFL. This is Tom Brady, the greatest football player, the greatest professional football player to ever play the game, mm-hmm. hands down. Greatest quarterback. I will say greatest quarterback. Mm-hmm. Versus Jared Goff, an up and coming quarterback. Very accurate. He has a. He also has Todd Gurley, was help, helping him with the run game. That's good news. That's good news. You agree, Gabe? Right? Gabe, yeah. is that okay. good news to you? I don't know. <laughs> so, so here's the deal. This is uh, this is Sean McVay, the coach of the Rams, and Bill Belichick, the coach of the Patriots. This is a battle of old versus new. Sean McVay reminds me a lot of Bill Belichick, just younger. He's very so smart. Is this the very offensive minded rookie versus the pros? Pretty much, it's it's like the young buck versus the old wise man. So this is so the college grad versus the years of experience. Yeah. Oh yeah. Didn't go to college, but still got the years under the belt. Yeah. No, I mean that's that's what it is. It's going to come down to who's going to out coach who. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady have a history of. It's being... almost like they 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 can almost like a telekin not a telekinesis but yeah almost kind of like a mind reading. It's like they've got like this psychic connection. They have a they have some sort of I mean kinship. Not necessarily who does the play calls the... for for Patriots? Um, I believe Josh McDaniels. So it's not it's not Bill coordinator. I don't I don't think Bill Belichick pl- uh, calls the plays. He just gets pissed at people when they do things wrong. Oh, yeah. So what's this? I saw this funny video of the Rams head coach having a spotter, like moving him out of the way from the line refs. Yeah, yeah. Is that Was that fake or was that like ridiculously real? I'm sure it's real. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's very. But he's, he, he literally like just purposely sits there. Like I know he, you know, he knows he's in the way, but they like, but he still does it. Yeah. Like especially during the special teams when they're kicking off. I think it's just a. I'm that badass. A millennial thing. How old is he? He's young, isn't he's he? He's like 30. Wow, that's pretty or young. 30, no, they, 30, that's... 33, 34, something like that. So, Sean McVay. Should, should we do, since this is probably going to air two weeks after the Super Bowl has pl- been played and the winner crowned victorious, should we give our our predictions that you already have but almost have a wager with it? Almost kind of like a, like a bet? Like a, if you lose, if I win, we have to do something? And maybe sure. and maybe we, it can go on live. Sure. Ooh. Yeah. What do you think, producer? That depends on what we're waiting. Well, I mean, to be honest, we could we could release this sooner if you want to get it before the Super Bowl. We could make it the next one that releases. But um, well, also what you were saying, Sean McVay, he's thirty-one. Thirty-one. So he's my age. I mean, you could just say it correctly next time. Okay. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> so, what do you think? What do you got in mind? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> the end. It's good talk. So what do you? Who do you think is going to win? Uh, uh, the Ram, you got the Rams or the Patriots? Yeah. See, I didn't even know who was playing until like today. Whenever y'all just talked about it, flip a coin. Who's going to win? I don't know. I know. All I'm, right. Uh, <laughs> Rams or Patriots? The Patriots is favored by everybody apparently. You know the what? The Rams are the underdogs. I'm not going to do that because like. At this time, Gabe has no opinion <laughs> because Gabe does not watch NFL. Please stay tuned. I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I used to play like football and stuff. You know, like I used to play football, you know, like in junior high and elementary. But you just said, man, after that bad encounter in the locker room, you're like, I'm done with it. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy looked at me weird. <laughs> he looked at me with his hands. <laughs> okay, no, I so know. 
I've just never really been in. Nah, I don't want to do a wager either. Life. But I am going to go for the Rams. I've, oh. I guess I've got to go for the Rams. Who are you going to go for? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> go for <No. laughs> I thought we just talked about that. <laughs> I want you to say something. No, okay. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I respect Gabe that. Gabe has no opinion on this subject again. <laughs> So, Jared, let me ask you, what do you what do you typically do for Super Bowls? I mean, that one time you came over to the house and we watched the, the Giants win with that, like, whack catch across the helmet. Oh, yeah, yeah, Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Guess who was in that Super Bowl? The Patriots. Patriots. That's Tom when they, Brady. they broke their winning streak. Yeah. That was... Almost a perfect season. That was phenomenal. I thought that was good. I think people need to be humbled and yeah. brought back down oh, to yeah, earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a long fall from, from grace for... Tom Brady. Oh yeah. Can I, can I interrupt for a no. second? No. And I was thinking maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I did used to like. I did like the Dallas Cowboys. You did. Like, did. Why well, not? I mean, I didn't say like. A, what I mean, like I did. I mean, I still like them. But you I'm, said did. I'm just not going to go flip into the channels looking for football. I mean, like, if it's on and I'm at someone's house, I'll watch football. Yeah. But I'm not going to go looking for it. But if I had to choose a team, I'd go for the Cowboys. Well, you're going to be off Sunday, right? Yeah. You're gonna be. You're not on call this coming up Sunday. Where are you watching the Super Bowl at? Uh, I didn't plan on watching it. <laughs> I was gonna be at the house with probably my son, just hanging out at the house, or maybe doing something out somewhere. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know what the family's doing. They usually do a Super Bowl party. What do y'all usually do? Go to your brother-in-law's? No, usually hang out at the house. I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay. But if you were going to do something. <laughs> I'd be you... jumping out of a plane <laughs> watching the game. I can see you, Tom Brady. All right. Favorite Super Bowl food, though? Favorite Super Bowl food? Snack food. Any food. Chips and dip. I'm a big fan of, like, fried pickles or fried zucchini. Yeah. Something along those lines. Ooh, little fried pickles and some ranch. So you're talking Woo! like raiding Sam's, get, a, get, get one of those boxes like those. I think Sam's has a fried battered zucchini. You can just fry them up. Do you so, like the, Do you like those fried little portobello mushrooms? No, I don't oh, like mushrooms. Hell yeah. Dude. I would fist you, but I just wipe my nose. Well, <laughs> well here. You could fist me, and then go. with the right camera and the lighting, then we'd have a porn. True. Ooh. Oh, my God. Can we just witness that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Gabe, I think you just caught my knuckles on fire. With so your, are you ashy? You look how ashy that is. Dude, that's... That's be, terrible. That's... I mean, it's like you were sponsored by sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it feels awful. If a you company tri- of 3M. <laughs> you tripped and fell at a fireworks stand, you like start catching on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, so fried zucchini, fried pickles, fried pickles for like for jal- uh, jalapeno that- fries. Oh man. There's a restaurant right by our house. Uh, serve like they call them Cajun fries. It's just like jalapeno strips that are mm-hmm. fried and served with ranch. Ooh. So is that what y'all are gonna have wow. in the Super Bowl? Probably not. We'll probably order a pizza. <laughs> I think Domino's said, or Pizza Hut said they were getting ready to like make like I don't know how many millions of pizzas, two hundred and something, two hundred and fifty million pizzas for Super Bowl, That's like a lot. Na- nationwide. Yeah, dude. Like I, I used to work for I wasn't several. Done, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, I, I mean, no, I used to work for like several. Oh, pi- Domino's. Pizza chains. Several pizza chains. And Papa John's. Yeah. And uh, Domino's. Didn't you? And Pizza Hut. Didn't, Didn't you do Little Caesars? And Pinocchio's. Jesus. Pinocchio's Pizza. <laughs> oh, Pinocchio's Pizza. But yeah, dude, you're Breakfast. not you're not joking, dude. Super Bowl busy at, at pizza places? Freaking retarded. I hated Super Bowl Sunday. Like Black Friday for retail. Yeah. Choppers. It's awful. I'm done. Please. I'm gonna shut up. They said they're gonna if you if you took every chicken wing that they're planning to sell, it would be able to he lined them up side by side from LA to New York. I saw that I saw that on today's show. Hell yeah. Yeah. Super Bowl is it's like a reason to party and eat crap. <laughs> they said it's also the highest call in rate. There's more people who call out on super the day after Super Bowl Sunday that morning. I mean think about the excuse that you'd give your boss. Um <laughs> my son my son jumped into a bear trap and <laughs> <laughs> We're still looking for his other half of the foot, but I don't think I'm going to be in this morning. I mean, like, there is absolutely no excuse that you could imagine. Sorry, sir. I can't come in. My grandma's on fire. I've got to go put her out. <laughs> What's that, that that Family Guy video where he was like, hey, I can't come over. Why? He shuts the door. Pop, 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 pop. I got to go to my brother's funeral. <laughs> you remember that scene? Nope. Everybody laugh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about either. <laughs> All right, so if you were going to watch the Super Bowl game, what, what snack would you eat? Dude, to me, like, my, my in my opinion, like, 
Like, that's all, folks. <laughs> well, no, like, to me, Super Bowl food is pizza. Yeah. And chicken wings. Hell yeah. And beer. Hell yeah. You said chips and dip? Well, I mean, yeah. You could some chips and dip. Chips and bean dip. I love bean dip. Fritos. Oh, I was just about dip. to say. I mean, you could do some ranch in there, but preferably my Super Bowl snack would be pizza, wings, and beer. I've just discovered um, there's a local pizza joint right by our house. Everything's right by our house in small ass town. K's, but right? Ken's. Well, I wasn't going to throw his name. Oh, yeah. Ken's Pizza. Right off, we right off Jacksboro, old Jacksboro Highway. Yeah, yeah. That place is phenomenal. It's really good. Anyway. <laughs> it's good. Jacksboro Highway, no. Old, old uh, Park Road, rather. Sorry. Right there across the Sonic. Yeah. Well, near the Sonic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's anyway, good. Anyway, they have a jalap... They don't advertise it's real, it. That's really good pizza. Yeah. They don't, they don't advertise it. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a jalapeno popper pizza. And it's amazing. They put like cream cheese on it and oh, jalapenos and man, so good. What kind of sauce do they use on that? Cream cheese, like I said earlier. Let, yeah, he said oh, that. I didn't. I didn't hear you say the saucy part. Oh yeah, I said cream cheese. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pizza's just a gimme. It's gonna it's gonna be there no matter what. Yeah. I think I think the more important is where it's coming from. Um, I think it's unfortunate, but Little Caesars is probably gonna sell more pizzas than anybody. And it's unfortunate because it's like it's crap pizza. For some reason, that's all my son wants to eat. I don't know why. Mine like, too. She likes the pepperoni pizza. Mine mm. too. Yeah, yeah. You like pepperoni pizza from Little Caesars? No. I do too. <laughs> I, mean, I, hate, I hate it too. But I, I am very much a um, like a dip person. Like I, I'm all about like the queso, like the homemade queso. I'm you all... make you make some good salsa and queso. Thank oh, you, yeah. man. Thank you. Thank you. You do. I, I appreciate it. I felt like now I should have bragged about something y'all did, but I didn't. <laughs> no, you don't have to. <laughs> but like homemade queso with like... With like Jimmy Dean sausage mixed into it, like oh, oh snap diggity, dog. But I'm also like really, I love like the raw broccoli and cauliflower and ranch dip. Oh like, yeah, I just like there's just something about. It's so good. Can I come over Sunday I and have some dinner snacks? Yet, dude, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really good? Pickled okra. I love pickled okra. Love it. Oh uh, yeah, 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 dude. So there's sometimes like if nobody's looking, I'll eat the stem. I always eat the stem. <laughs> I was gonna say I do. I don't eat okra. It's soft and it goes down good. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I mean the okra. Okay. <laughs> the okra. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, Jared said Patriots are going to win. He's eating some fried pickles, soft, gooey okra. <laughs> and some Ken's don't miss the sauce Gabe pizza. <laughs> Something like that. Gabe's just boycotting it. I don't know. I think I, sometimes I watch it just for the commercials. Yeah. Commercials. The commercials are a big part of it. In the halftime show. I'm yeah. not watching this halftime show. I don't even know who's doing it. Well, I can tell you what color she won't be. Okay, so our next topic from Facebook Live comes from Fallon Ross. Fallon Ross writes, Why is orange a color and also a fruit? Well, I would have to answer that question with a question of my own. Who thinks <laughs> of a f-ing question like that? <laughs> You're smoking what you ought to be selling. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> no. Why? I, I mean. I mean, really think about it, that. It has to be put into context for me to answer. I guess I don't know. So I. I mean, it's like one of those things. It's like a deep question. It's something that you wouldn't even inquire about unless you were in a deep state of thought. I'm eating an orange, and this orange that I'm eating is, is orange. called orange. Is it orange because it's an orange, or is it orange because it's an orange? No, or or is it an orange because it's orange, or is it orange because it is a orange? Or does it taste orange? I always taste orange. <laughs> Can, can, well, what? <laughs> can orange taste like orange? Is orange, so is orange a taste also? I feel like orange if it's orange. Orange is a flavor, yeah. Yeah, it tastes like but orange. what is bitter is an, a, it's an adjective, isn't it? No, it's an adverb. What is? I don't, I'm not trying to do vocabulary No, it's an adjective, right bitter. Now. Bitter is yeah. an adjective, okay. Yeah, so, what the f- does that have I'm to just saying like, it tastes orange. <laughs> to me it does. Man, that's real orange. It's not like it's real sour, real bitter. Like I feel like if I Man. drink, if I, if I, if I, if I, 
If I was drinking Kool Aid right now, I could taste the orange one. I bet you. If I had blind. But see, no, 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 no. That's you. different. You can taste the orange one. So you're identifying that one as the orange. Well, no, I color can... the orange, but flavor. But but it didn't taste orange. It tasted like the orange. I'm getting so confused. <laughs> But but y'all see I mean but but Fallon's asking why is the orange orange? The orange is orange because language has developed into a f-ing orange being orange. No, what? <laughs> no, no, that's this no. Is stupid. <laughs> it's not that simple. This question confuses and enrages me. <laughs> Let me think about it. It's like man. It, it, well, first off, what came first, the color or the or the name? The color or the fruit? I mean, I think the color always was. But that's just it. No, it fruit. may have been called orange because it was an orange to begin with. You see what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it was around before we were. You know, it's not like we don't, we don't call the chicken an egg because out of the egg came a chicken. We call it an egg because it's an egg. Fallon is presenting a hell of a freaking paradox here. Did somebody say this orange tastes so much like an orange that we're going to call the color of it orange? Or is, hey, because this round <laughs> thing that has a lot of juice in it happens to look orangey color, we're going to call it orange. Which one came first? I think that last theory sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I would second that. See? Let me, <laughs> let me explain this to all the stoners in the room and audience... <laughs> An orange is called an orange because some guy in ancient times no. happened upon this fruit, picked it up and ate it, didn't die from it, and thought, you know what, I'm going to call this, and named it something that resembles orange today. And language, over time, developed from whatever he called it into Orange. How, how do you, did, this did, is not the Matrix. No, no. Just hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. He didn't slice it up and like wedge it. He probably just picked it up and just took a bite out of it. Yeah. Okay. And then, have you ever tasted the the ream and the the skin of an orange? The the rind. The rind, rather. The ream. The ream. The ream of the rime. Have you ever tasted the rind of an orange? Yeah. Does it taste good? No. Absolutely not. It's, so we it know does. No, no. orange zest tastes good. Orange zest is like oh. essence, like small essence, not zest? Where does it come from? Have your daughter peel you an orange and you eat the skin and tell me if you have a smile on your face. Where does you done. Answer me this question. What? Where does orange zest come from? An orange. Zest? What part of the orange? The skin. Are you but the skin is part of the orange. <laughs> Rhyme. <laughs> no, Say it. <laughs> right. But listen, that person bit into that. And he's like, holy shit. This this is so bittery. This just this tastes like an orange. And at that point in time, he could have he could have been using orange in the context of something bad. I mean, for all we know, people were probably what up, orange? You no good for nothing, orange. Because it was being used negatively. That sounds a little bit racist. <laughs> Let's pump the brakes. <laughs> Holy crap, I had an orange of a day. <laughs> you know? And then, like, somebody later on opened it up and ate that inside part first. Like, Holy shit, this really tastes good. <laughs> This is so damn good, I'm going to call the color of this orange. The fire went out again, honey. (laughs) Aw, mother orange. (laughs) How would they even get orange as a color? You think they just kind of like rubbed an orange up on the brick, on the rock wall until it's like, they like the rind? Did I say it right? Yeah, rind. Just the rind just like stays up there and like orange. No, I we think... left the orange up there. Oh, that's how it happened. I bet you somebody probably tripped and fell and went and like marked the wall with the orange and left part of the orange up there. And they're like, look, orange. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it was. We, we just figured it out. It was the fruit first and it smeared on a wall <laughs> back in ancient Greece. And they said, look. There's orange on the wall. And ever since then, it was called the color orange. Do you remember the original Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you remember when they go through that tunnel? And all the crazy lights <laughs> yeah. start going There's on. There's no sense of where real, I'm going. It's real, it gets kind of kind of <laughs> scary there yeah. for a second. That's, that's what just happened here. That's what I feel like just happened. It's a 
orange. That was called orange because it was orange. <laughs> We're done. I, I, I got a conundrum for you. Why, if that's called an orange, why did they call a tangerine something else? Because it's orange too. Why they called it tangerine? Well, tangerine had its own name. It just so happened to look because like because it's bigger. No, the, the, no, the tangerine has its own name, but it just so happened to look like the orange that tastes like orange. Hence the reason why the color's orange. No, what happened is some ancient dude happened upon a tree, a tangerine tree, picked one up, ate it, didn't die, and said, hey, I'm going to call this a tangerine. And then the tangerine guy and the orange guy bumped into each other, and the orange guy said, oh, I see you found an orange. He's like, no, I found a tangerine. I see you found a tangerine, too. He's like, no, this is an orange. Clearly, they're different because of the size. Let's go about our day. And that's how it happened. <laughs> that is the gospel. Just take my word for it. I'll end with this. Move I'll, I'll end, on. I'll end with this. I'll end with this. If you, can, if you can answer me this and be precise with your answer, the both of you, can something be inconsistently be... Can something be inconsistently consistent? Or can something consistently be inconsistent? Yep. Think about what I just said. I'm trying. Stop. <laughs> can something be consistently and constant, constant, constant state of inconsistency? Because if it's inconsistent all the time, it's consistently being inconsistent. Yeah, so you just answered your own question. But how can something be consistent if there's inconsistency? It, it, uh, inconsistency means it does something different every time, so it can never be consistent. But the fact that it's constantly doing something different each time is constantly happening. No, but one of the things it has to do constantly has to be the same for it to be consistent. I mean, just because it changes what it The does. outcome is the same. It's being inconsistent. See? I'm going to leap across this <laughs> desk. <laughs> <laughs> and bicycle kick one of you in the face. You know what? I'm going to leave that with you guys. That's y'all's homework for tonight. Try not, no, try not to get... La, 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 la. <laughs> you just turned into Arnold on Mars. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, thanks. Bro. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Why are you putting the outro? I just said thanks. You're just because you're asleep at the mic. <laughs> no. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks I'm for- the Gabe. There's two of the people here, you know. It sounds so sad. <laughs> I know. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank y'all so much. Thanks. And I'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jared. No. <laughs> wait your turn. <laughs> wait. Wait your turn. <laughs> Second pause in between what you were saying. I thought you were f-ing done. <laughs> that was rather presumptuous of you. <laughs> you're like, all right, thanks, bye, guys. <laughs> and <laughs> part two of previous statement. <laughs> Last time on my exit. <laughs> okay, I'm for real. I'm done. I'll see you. All right, Gabe, let's go. Oh, right. Hold on, we gotta wait for Jared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go, Jared. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We will see you next time. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Goodbye. Adios. Who has to have the last word? Seriously, Gabe? Bye. You're still talking. It's me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs>